So, in your game, you've came to the point where you need to add some sounds in your game. And what a lucky coincidence, I need to do the same. So, here we have a gun that shoot boots, and I need to play the shoot sound every time the bullet is shot. First of all, what we might think we need to add audio stream player. I don't need no 2D or spatial versions of it, so I'm gonna use plain audio stream player. Let's rename it to shoot stream. And we will create a reference here. Shoot stream is a shoot stream. We set a sound for this stream and in the shoot function we'll call the sound to play. Shoot stream play. Let's check it out. So you can hear that the sound is being cut. It's not fully played like that. Rather, it's cut by half or f at least some part of it plays, but not the last. So what we can do here? Well, maybe we need to play the sound only when it's not playing. Okay, let's check it. If not shoot stream playing. If it's not playing, we will play it. So now we have another problem. It's not working as we want. The sound is played only when it's done, when the previous sound is done. So now we need to create a system that plays the sounds independently from each other. So let's start making a system. New script. Let's call it sound effects handler. Let's create a function. Here we have the basic function for it. We will pass the sound of an audio stream player type in it and a parent of no type, any no type. So now we need to create an audio stream player instance and play set the sound of it to the sound we passed in the function and then play it. So here now we have uh, the very core of the system. We create a stream, audio stream player, just like we did here. We set the sound that will be played to the sound that was passed in the function. And now we add the audio stream player as a child of the parent we passed it here as well. And then we play it, the sound. It's a nice rule of thumb to check if the sound and the parent really exist. So we won't have any errors. But now how can we access this function if it's a separate node and it's not even a, in a tree? We will use single tones. We create a node. We call it as sound effect handler as well. Set the script to it. Save. And now, project settings, auto load tab, sound effects handler, TSN file, and we add it by the name of sound effects handler here. And now we can access it at any place of any script in our game. So, sound effects player. Play sound effect. Shoot sound effect. Nope. Shoot some SFX. And for now, we can set it to self. So the sounds 
it will be the children of the gun okay let's see how it wor how it's working and it works absolutely fine just as we intended every sound is being fully played but we have a problem right now we have all of these sounds still taking up memory they are not being played but they still exist so now let's connect these sounds in a way that they will be deleted when they are finished and now when the sound is finished when it emits the signal finished it will call its method q3 in other words it will delete itself and now let's see how it will work open remote tab and that's the gun that we are having here as you can see the sounds are being instantiated but then they are destroyed as a good rule of thumb I would move the parent and make it not the gun itself but rather the scene tree and here we go the very basic system of playing sounds is ready in the next part of this mini series we will make better the code we will expand it and make it so you can set the custom loudness and custom pitch of the sound and thank you for watching this video i hope it was helpful and see you next